Hoover Tower on the Stanford campus. We're on the farm for college basketball tonight. Pac-12 against Big Ten in Maples Pavilion. The Stanford Cardinal, the Northwestern Wildcats, will go at it here tonight. Along with former UCLA captain Sean Farnham, Roxy Bernstein with you. Northwestern 1-0, Stanford 1-1. One one. They're both really excited in this matchup tonight. There's a lot of buzz in Chicago. Coach Collins has done an excellent job. They've got a good recruiting class coming in next year. They're really building and laying down a foundation to compete inside the Big Ten and get inside the NCAA tournament in the near future. For Stanford, though, and their defense the other night, it, it is, is looming some large questions right now here on the farm after giving up 112 points in that contest against BYU as part of the tip-off marathon. Will Sean take us to the one-on-one -on -one for this matchup tonight? What are you looking for? Well, I think when you look for Northwestern, they've got a battle with the size. There's great pieces for Johnny Dawkins and the Sanford Cardinal. They've got to be able to handle them on the boards. They've got to be able to match their intensity for Northwestern. For Stanford, you know, Coach, Coach Shaw in the football program, they got Tyler Gaffney. They want to get into the second line of the defense. They don't want those big defensive tackles able to stop them. Well, for Stanford, their defensive tackles, they didn't stop anything the other night. So it's mission number one for Johnny Dawkins' team. Stop the ball. You can't allow that downfield momentum that we saw BYU have the other night. Starting five for the Wildcats, uh, Drew Crawford. 25 points, 11 rebounds in their season opening win against Eastern Illinois. Dave Sobolewski, the point guard, runs the show for Northwestern. For the Stanford Cardinal, a big lineup that features... Anthony Brown at guard at 6'6", and a dynamic duo at forward, Josh Eustace and Dwight Powell for the Cardinal. And, and they've got to find a better rhythm in their offensive set than they have. <laughs> now we know where they were. Are you videoing? I knew this the whole time. We didn't want to tell you. All right, fans, tonight we've picked a lucky fan to compete in a half-court shot contest. Our contestant will get two attempts to make the half-court shot. If he sinks it, he will win a $100 gift card to the Stanford Bookstore. All right, fans, make some noise as Ryan will take his first attempt. Bernstein with you. A tight one here at the half and a two-point lead for Stanford in a game that was back and forth and a real grinded out first half. Yeah, it was a game in which we saw Northwestern really kind of explode and a lot of that had to do with Drew Crawford and then Stanford just kind of fought its way back. Some poor decision making in the half court set hurt Northwestern but Drew Crawford was not one of the reasons why they were slowed down at all. Five for seven shooting overall in the first half. 13 points, four rebounds, great block shot. He was limited down the stretch, though, in the final four minutes. He had two personal fouls. That kind of helped Stanford a little bit, although they were without Dwight Powell for a majority of the first half. And without Dwight Powell, you still want to get the ball down low. Nostich, a nice job hitting and sealing hole on the high side. A couple high lows. Good impact of the defensive end of four. Nostich, three of five shooting, eight points, and that block shot. But zero rebounds for the big guy. And Stanford's got to do a better job on the glass. They're only up one, and their size advantage is very key for them here. And in the second half for me, you throw all these numbers, you look at the scoring, it's, it's nine turnovers in the first half for Northwestern. You turn the ball over, you give up points in the paint, it's a difficult opportunity to try to win. Lays it in. Gershon Cobb, one of those parts though for Northwestern, that's a positive leaving Stanford. And for Coach Collins, a great embrace with his former colleagues on the Duke staff. And Johnny Dawkins, a nice win. So the Stanford Cardinal is 71-58 victory. And the Pac-12 notches one over the Big Ten Conference here at Maples Pavilion tonight. As the Cardinal, an outstanding performance, especially in the second half. And Josh Eustace leading the way. Efficient, aggressive, physical. All the things that we've known about his game for the last couple of seasons. He brought it back. 
and we saw that tonight and a big reason for their success in the win. Houston leads Stanford with 18, Chase and Randall 14 points. Stanford now 2-1, and one, and Chris Collins suffers his first loss as the Northwestern head coach. Our final score again, Stanford 71, Northwestern 58. Coming up next, college football, Georgia Tech and Clemson. For Sean Farnham and our ESPN crew, Roxy Bernstein, saying so long from Stanford.